Hi lovelies, welcome back to another video. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today we are working on this really cute alcohol ink set with some encapsulated butterflies. But before I jump into the video, let me give a huge shout out to my notification squad. These are the first three people to comment on my last video and in case you missed that video, I would have it in the cards on the screen, in my description box and if you want to be part of the notification squad, you know what to do. Click on the bell icon right next to that subscribe button down below. So today I am using the Madame Glam's NY ink collection so I'm just showing you the bottles which is the same Madame Glam bottles the only difference is instead of gel polish these are alcohol inks and this was their collection released last month so if you want to see these swatched and in their full glory head on over to Instagram after you watch this video of course and you can definitely check out that swatch with me over there my Instagram name is on the screen and the direct link is in my description box below you do get 12 alcohol inks with this set they are very pigmented and very easy to work with they also have their very own clay ink which is what you use to create the marbling effect and I will have my link for Madame Glam in the description box below as well as my 30% off coupon code for those of you who are interested remember my coupon code cannot be applied at checkout unless you use the link in the description below you can also sign up for the Madame Glam's VIP program which gives you half price off of all their gel polishes For my presents today, I am using the Enil Couture's 123 Go XXL Coffin. And I did cut it down just a little bit. So now I'm going over two of the entire press on nails with Spring Fling by Madame Glam. And I absolutely love this color. It is one of my favorites and I will link it in my description box below. I am applying two coats of this and I'm carrying in between each coat for 30 seconds. So now I'm going in with Madame Glam's Perfect White. I'm going to do the same thing, cover the entire nail, apply two coats and curl in between each coat for 30 seconds. After curing the final layer of the Perfect White, I'm going to take Madame Glam's Velvet Matte and I'm going to go over this entire nail and then I'm going to curl that again for another 30 seconds. After doing that, I am going to repeat the same steps to the next nail. Going in again with that Madame Glam's Perfect White, I am going to be creating a straight across French on this nail. Now this line does not need to be perfect but it does need to be even because I am going to go in and outline it at the end. After doing two coats of this color and curing, I am going to go over just the white part with the Velvet Matte by Madame Glam and then cure that one final time. So now that all my nails are cured, I'm going over all the white nails with my alcohol inks and I will have each ink name on the screen for you guys. And please excuse the ratchet nail clipper in the background, but this is the only thing I had to hold my three nail tip stands together. And yes, if you notice, each stand is a different color and this is my coded system to tell me which nail goes on which finger after I have completed my design. So I do have a step-by-step -step tutorial, like a dedicated video showing you guys how to achieve that perfect alcohol ink marble. And I will have that video in the cards on the screen so you guys can go ahead and check it out. In this case, the only difference is instead of using acetone, I am using the clear ink by Madame Glam. And I didn't have an issue with working that clear ink at all. It really did blend nicely. So I will definitely recommend it. But you can always still go ahead and use your acetone, which will work perfectly in this case as well. Just 
match my words to my actions Magic in my life's everlasting I say, back out of the world Don't be with any girl But something about your style Makes me want a man up We should fill up clubs Catch a flick and do some stuff I'm used to one that stands But with you that's not enough I don't wanna front I just wanna see ya Please give me a sign, yeah Give me a sign if you wanna come. Just give me a sign. Yeah. I don't wanna front, I just wanna see you. Just give me a sign if you wanna come. Why are you presenting games? I don't wanna play. So when this marble is completed, if you're not comfortable with going on top of it with an encapsulated design, I would suggest coating over the marble design with your matte gel top coat just to protect it. For me, I didn't do that. I just went in with my builder in a bottle and I'm just randomly placing it through all the nails because I'm going to be using this Iridescence Glitter Mix by the Veronique Shop throughout the design as well as these really fine butterflies and i got it in a glitter mix by the veronica shop as well and if you guys are interested i do have my affiliate link as well as coupon code in the description box below i love her glitter mixes but i am sold on her dried flowers for nail art because they have like three colors and two colors and then you can get that basic one color I absolutely love shopping her fresh flowers so you definitely can go ahead and go to the website and check it out and of course save yourself some money while you're at it. I did go ahead and cure those glitters into place. I also went in and applied those tiny butterflies off camera and I cured that as well. So now taking this gold alloy butterfly with the pointed end of my rhinestone picker tool, I just slightly curved it to fit the nail and I laid down a small drop of my builder in a bottle, the clear by Madame Glam and I'm just going to place one of these gold butterflies on each nail and I'm not placing them in the same spot but I do try to keep it to the center of that nail so that when it comes to encapsulating and refiling and shaping I'm not going to file into this butterfly so if I can locate these metal butterflies I will feature them on my Amazon storefront and I would link it in the description box below however I bought these like ages ago and finally getting around to using them again i think i use them like once or twice before so if i can find it i would link it so once i was happy with the placement of these gold butterflies i did go in with a dollop of my clear builder in a bottle on top of them and then i flash cure them for 15 seconds this is just to hold them in place so when i go in to encapsulate with my gel these butterflies don't go sliding all over the nail and one tip I want to give you guys is because these are press-ons, you do want to make sure that these butterflies are laying as flat as possible before you cure it. Because if it is sticking up in any way, remember we are not going to be doing such a thick encapsulating as if we were doing acrylics or poly gels. So that way you do want to make sure once it's flat on the nail, it will take less product to encapsulate and that way your press-ons are not going to end up being too thick. 
So this is me getting my hands dirty, making sure they bend it to that nail in the position that I want before going in and curing it. Now it's time for me to encapsulate but if you have made it this far in the video thus far how cute are these go ahead and leave me these two emojis with your comments in the comment section below so now i'm going in with the mccart foil gel yes the foil gel because it's a little bit thicker than your regular base coat and i am using this as a slip layer for my builder gel in a bottle so I am not going to be curing this layer, I'm going right in on top of it with that clear builder gel and I'm going to be encapsulating my butterflies. And I did go in with about two layers of my clear builder in a bottle. I did turn these nails upside down with each layer and then I cured for a full 60 seconds in between. So I know they kind of look a hot hot mess right now but trust me when you are finished filing these babies up they are going to look so cute. So, so cute. So now that everything is cured and I did take off that tacky layer, I am going to go in with my first set of filing. Now this is just to debulk and remove any of the imperfections or the major imperfections in the presence and also to give them back a little bit of shape. When I do apply them to my nail, I'm going to go in and do this step all over again. So I am using a medium grit sanding band and I'm just going to debulk as well as shape them up and I'm going in with my hand file to get as much of that shape back as possible. Now you can do this all when you put the press ons on but for me I just like to see them being shaped before actually applying them and then when I go in and apply them I debulk them even more so if you guys want to see how I apply my press ons definitely check out the link in the cards on the screen and I will also link it in my description box below so you guys can go ahead and check that video out after. So when it comes to press-ons, the most frequently asked question that I have besides how I apply my press-ons is what do I do to prevent them from shrinking when you apply layers upon layers of your design. And for me, what works is I just go a size up. So if it is that I wear a size 4 on my ring finger, I'm going to go to a size 3. Because I am putting layers and layers of gel on top of the actual gel tips. Not gel polish, but builder gel and encapsulated designs. And even if I'm using acrylic or poly gel, I always go a size up. And the reason for that is with every layer that you add to these gel tips, they are going to shrink. So you want to keep that in mind. When it shrinks down, it then comes down to the size that I am happy and comfortable with wearing and it's not too small. So definitely try it that way and tell me if it works. You know, just let me know. You can message me on Instagram, here on YouTube, or just drop the comments in the comment section below and let me know if this helps. If it doesn't, then I can probably try to find another way to assist you guys. But this is what I use and this is how I do it. So this is the advice that I can give to you. It works. I had no idea that he was standing there. But yes, he knows that it works because that's what I use. So, and then another thing is that if it's still a little bit too big, you can go in with your e-file or your hand file and you can reshape the cuticle area so that it fits. So as the saying goes, too big is a fit. So you can't go wrong if it is that it is too big. You don't want it to be too small because then you would have just wasted your time completely. <laughs> really? <laughs> you would have wasted your time in doing all of that work and then you have a press on that you cannot wear so yes mr decided to sneak up on me so i told him i'm going to be leaving that in since he wanted to put his two cents into the voiceover but it was just so cute though so now i'm just going in with my madame glam's no wipe gel top coat and i'm going to coat over these two nails that i just filed and i am just absolutely loving how these turned out oh my gosh they're so whimsical and they just look so girly and cute 
So now going in with that French nail that we did earlier on, yes, I encapsulated and filed. And now to the cuticle area, I'm going in with that spring fling gel polish and I'm going to be applying two coats of it and carrying in between each coat for the same 30 seconds. And the reason why I am now doing this step is because I was tossing up in my mind if I wanted a more neutral nail bed area or if I wanted to go in with the color. And of course, as you guys can see, I chose the color. And now with my Mission Control Overdrive by Young Nails, this is their gel paint and a striper brush. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line to divide that encapsulated area from the gel polish. And then I'm taking that same overdrive and outlining the entire cuticle area. I went in with just two abstract lines to one corner as well of that nail bed area and then in between those two lines I decided to lay down some rhinestones so I'm using the McCart AB rhinestones the smallest size as well as my rhinestone gem gel to hold those crystals in place. so this is the final nail for this set i'm going into the cuticle area and i'm adding some swarovski crystals in one corner yes i'm using swarovskis for this nail because i don't have rhinestones this color so i'm going in with some swarovski crystals and some microbeads i'm going to place it until i am happy with it and then before curing that gem gel i'm going to go in with my no wipe gel top coat and i do cure everything together this is to eliminate any of those harsh lines after pressing the crystals into the gem gel that might ooze out on the sides of your crystal so this is just to make sure everything lays nice and smooth and I did do the same thing to the thumb the only difference is I went to the top of the thumb instead of to the cuticle area I didn't record that because I forgot to press record but that is what I did I will have a clip of the final result at the end of the video to share with you guys I do hope everyone had an amazing day and continues to have a safe and wonderful afternoon that is it for me I'm going to leave you right here to watch the rest of this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up give it a share if you enjoyed it and you think somebody else will be able to enjoy it as well so that is it i am out as always i would love you guys to stay glamorous be safe and i'll see you soon Choose you, baby. I don't wanna fight.